good morning. This is me on Sunday. I just treated myself to a very long lie in and didn't set my alarm. I went to bed last night feeling very grotty and very cold. By the time I was home, I had two jumpers on and my coat and my hood up and I just didn't want to take them off. And then I did change quickly to get to, into bed, but I had a jumper over my head for a hat in bed. I couldn't warm up. I still don't feel perfect. I'm feeling a bit grotty. I suppose I better do a lateral flow test just in case. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Looking clear so far. Quite often the bit as it goes up looks like a darker colour and it can give you the fright, but it just, it goes all the way up then until it gets to the control line. So no, well, I'll look at it again in 20 minutes. It looks fine though. Five past 12. Today is turning into a bit of a duvet pampering day. Well, I mean, I'm working on the channel, but I'm working on the channel in bed in my pyjamas at a very relaxed pace. So it kind of feels like a duvet day. Obviously it's coffee time. I've got to put a thumbnail together and I just, oh, that's my least favorite part of the whole process, doing the thumbnail. I'm going to be doing a bit more research about cameras as well later. I've realised I've got a very, very ancient stills camera upstairs that nobody wants. Whenever I've tried to give it to anybody, they've declined the offer. It was my dad's originally, but he didn't want it, so he gave it to me. I presume he still doesn't want it. I'd better check. <laughs> I was wondering if they might take it as part of the part exchange for the new camera. As far as I know, it works. Minolta. No idea if it's a good brand, but if they're going to offer me 60 quid for my GoPro Hero 5, you never know. Even if they just give me tenner, it's something. I have absolutely no idea what it's worth. That's some kind of flash. There doesn't seem to be a lens cap with it. Don't know what's happened to that. Anyway, there's that. We'll see. I'll give him a ring. As it takes him a while to look up, you know, what it's going to cost if I just turn up with it on the day. They probably wouldn't be prepared enough to be able to give me an answer on the spot. I should probably take my new coat downstairs. That was on my bedroom floor because I was literally in bed with it on. I was like, I don't want to get changed. I'm so cold. But I managed to under the covers. <laughs> Like in the old days, getting ready for school before we had central heating. I am so happy with this new coat. It had his maiden voyage last night. I was going to vlog about it, but it ended up being a bit of a rush and I didn't have time to talk to the camera about it. The hood is massive though. <laughs> it literally covers my face. I'm going to have to work out how to make sure that doesn't happen. It was quite a lot of money to spend on a coat really for me because it was about £60, but I'm, I think this is going to last me for many years and hopefully it stays waterproof. It's lightweight. It's, it's lighter than my other coat and my other coat like would end up being carried around by me. I shall definitely keep the old one. I've put it through the washing machine and I've hung it back up because it can be my spare. I'm not going to throw it away. I'll keep hold of it. It's okay. It's just not waterproof, you know. Let's see. Is this one heavy and that one? This isn't that light. Well, uh, they're like, mm, I don't know. No, this is lighter. It is lighter. And I often end up carrying my coat around all day. You know, I wear it out and then it gets hot and I end up having to carry the weight of it around all day when, you know, when I'm indoors. So yeah, I'm very glad about that little investment. I'm going to go and sip my coffee and make a thumbnail and get tonight's vlog up anyway. And after that, I'm going to show you something that's arrived in the post for me. Currently sitting there waiting for me on the laundry. I've been very kindly gifted something. Oh, the COVID test was fine, by the way. I knew it would be. I just needed to check because I would have needed to let the band know if it hadn't been. Oh my gosh, I am having the most luscious day I've had in ages. I have to add that I really enjoyed Friday when I went shopping and went to Ikea. I really enjoyed that. I don't know why, but I really did. But I'm enjoying today. From a vlogging point of view, like for you, this is probably not very interesting. But today has turned into the biggest, most epic duvet day ever. I'm still in my pyjamas at half past one in the afternoon. I have been, well, I've been getting the vlog up. My software was crashing. Like the thumbnail image software was crashing. Did that twice. So I had to redo things a few times. Which was quite annoying, but I've now been watching tutorials on the new camera that I've put a deposit down on. And it was a split second impulsive decision to do that as well and it is an expensive camera but I'm buying a second hand one so I'm saving quite a few hundred pounds on that because it's second hand and with every minute of tutorial video I'm watching or review video on this camera I'm just more and more convinced that I have made the right decision for me but there's a few more things I need to check out but I'm really really enjoying that <laughs> anyway I am drinking too much coffee I'm on my third coffee though to be fair the first one was completely decaf and the second two have been one third calf so I'm only on the equivalent of weak coffee number two, but it doesn't help the old waterworks situation. I've had too much caffeine. So that's one of the reasons I'm really conscious about it. Ah, anyway, my daughter's coming home later. I don't know what time I've texted her. There's the uh, the latest acquisition from Ikea over there. I'm going to have to hide him later as well. I have three things to hide now. He's quite cute. I quite like him there. My boyfriend thinks he's revolting because it reminds him of a spider. He absolutely 
hate spiders and anything that even looks vaguely like a spider is likely to uh, send shivers down his spine and that one's got lots of legs so that goes into that category anyway i've been massaging my own feet with the massage gun my poor footsies have been in pain they have i think it's because i spent the day in converses on friday when i was walking and tramping all around cardiff center and i'm not used to it my feet are used to being spoilt rotten in very comfy walking boots with a lot of cushioning not zero suspension if you know what I mean so they're like in shock they're actually quite painful but they're more painful today on Sunday than they were yesterday which was the day after shopping so that's weird it's like it took two days to come out or something anyway I'm gonna turn the camera off for a bit now because I'm sure you don't want to watch me watching videos in bed but you know even vloggers need a rest day sometimes <laughs> that's what I'm having right it's actually 2.24. I'm shutting the laptop down. I'm gonna get dressed. There is daylight left at the moment and it's not raining. So what I should do is put on my new shoes and my new coat and walk to Asda, which is quite a walk away from here actually, but it'll give me some exercise. <laughs> and I want some frozen blueberries and I'm not taking my trolley. I'm just gonna take my big rucksack and not buy very many things. Are you coming with me? I'm gonna get dressed first because yeah, I've, um, I haven't really had lunch, <clears throat> but I'm not hungry <laughs> for obvious reasons. I'm dressed and I'm just thinking just in case Izzy comes home <laughs> while I'm out. I don't know. I have no idea what time she's coming in. She does go in my room occasionally because the laundry basket is in here. Oh, I'm doing a rubbish job of filming that. Look, tentacle become obscured it's possible as he might have seen this octopus being purchased in my ikea vlog because sometimes when she's staying at my dad's my dad is playing the vlog while she's around but usually not but anyway he won't be the end of the world if she knows about it so for my moisturizer is anybody else like me reluctant to throw a bottle away if there's even a smidge of moisturizer left in it yeah i've been letting gravity do its thing is there gonna be any i had my finger in it yesterday <laughs> <laughs> I had the top off and my finger sloshing around in it. That, right, I think really it might be time to accept that this one is empty. Or is it? Oh, that's probably enough. Oh yeah, I'll get a few more days out of that. I'm out walking, enjoying it, and I just passed by a building where there's a choir practicing, like a local choir. And one of the bad things about being a musician for your livelihood is it kind of stops you being able to do things like local choirs, local orchestras, things like that, because you can't commit to being available for the concerts that don't pay because you need to do the paid ones for your livelihood. It's one of those things I would have probably liked to have done. Well, I've got off to a rather excellent start in Asda. There was a lady at the Reduce to Clear thingy right there, so I didn't vlog picking it up. But look what I got. Four plums for 10 pence each. So of course I got two, they're not ripe anyway. And also these Fissilis, they were down to 19 pence a packet. So of course I got two. And this, what do you think? 10p, oh yeah. Oh, Izzy's home tonight, isn't she? I'm gonna get some four cheese tortellini so I can make a bolognese and have it with that. I think she'll love that. Oh, yummy, 220. That'll last me a few meals worth that will. Too much for one meal for me on my own. Oh my gosh, that lurking in there behind the glass is Marmite hummus. I can't believe it. I've got to remember not to buy too many things because I've got to carry it all home in my rucksack. Aha, I'm going to buy a pasty for Izzy to take with her tomorrow. One pound for a Peter's pasty. I would have got her a sausage roll, but they seem to be all sold out, apart from the ones with pickle in, which I'm pretty sure she doesn't like. I'm going down the herbs and spices aisle now. Speaking of which, I had a top tip in the comments. You can get better in focus you can get things in bulk in the world food section and it can work out cheaper my local ones don't have it but i've walked to this one it might have one so maybe we should try and find that things like cumin cumin seeds coriander coriander seeds things like that oh, that's what i want i just want some basil actually today 60 pence just to keep me going i've been known to buy big bags of basil in the past speaking of world foods according to that sign there we're here it says east asian at the end so let's go there there don't seem to be any herbs and spices specifically in this world food section just sort of individual products like you know bean sprouts in water coconut milk that sort of thing bamboo shoots water chestnuts and udon thick noodles i love them actually just grabbed the last packet of potato cakes on the shelf didn't see the price 10p that'll help busy out with a packed lunch tomorrow Oh, there's donuts down there. I just need to um, not give them any attention. And last of all, for what I've actually come in for, hopefully they have some. Oh, yes, they do. I'm actually going to buy three packets of blueberries. There's no prices on anything. So I'll have to tell you when I get home and look at the receipt. I think they're about £2.20 a packet, something like that, by memory. Right, I need to go and pay. 
Well, that was a jolly good workout. I am now dripping with sweat. <laughs> I'm going to put my shopping away. The blueberries were £2.40 a packet, by the way. They're going away first. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm not going to film it, but I'm going to go and do an hour's flute practice in the salad and speak to you when I've finished. Um, I haven't started yet, so sorry about that. But I need to tell you something because it is just wrong and something strange has happened. And I generally only tell you these things because I think it might be useful information for people. This is a coffee spoon. I'm breaking my code. I never use a coffee spoon for tea, but... I was too lazy then to change it. So Isabel's just rung me up and I know what time she's coming home now, six, and she does want dinner. And she's very much looking forward to Tortellini. But she said, Mum, did you smash your phone and message me on somebody's WhatsApp? And I said, no, because she had a message saying, hi, Mum, and she thought that it was from me and I had missed out the word it's. <laughs> Um, it said, I've smashed my phone, but you can contact me on my friend's WhatsApp. Here's the number. Can you reply? And of course she did. And so I suspect it's one of those scam things. It could have genuinely been a kid got the wrong number, I suppose, but I don't know. Have you had one of these? Is it the latest scam going around? Uh, I've got visions now of Isabel's phone being completely hacked into and all her information being stolen. She said, well, I've never paid for anything through my phone and my bank details have never been inputted onto it at all. She doesn't use Apple Pay on it. It's not Apple anyway, her new phone. But she's never activated, you know, paying on it. So hopefully that is all right. They might have a password, so I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, I thought I'd mention it just in case you had the same one and you can be on the alert then, can't you? Now I'm gonna go play my flute. 20 to seven and look, the dinner's under progress. Got cheese grated and I've got a daughter sat on the chair who's been chatting to me while I've been cooking. It is now the evening. What time is it? It's eight o'clock in the evening. We've had dinner and I'm gonna open this box that I mentioned earlier. Now recently, you might have seen me going shopping for wax melts and also throwing away some particularly disgusterous wax melts because I normally get the cheap ones. But anyway, a lady called Jane was watching and it just so happens that she owns a company that sells wax melts and she has offered me a gift and it's not sponsored. She has not asked for anything in return. She specified that she wasn't asking for anything in return. Her company is called muchlovejane.com and I will leave a link to it in the description in case you're interested. But anyway, let's get into this box. Thank you so much, Jane, for my little present. She's put a lovely little thank you sticker on the box. She says she watches all the vlogs she's been watching since about August. Let's get into this box then. Oh, it looks so pretty. A very delightful scented waft is coming up to my nostrils right now. Do you know, they remind me of chocolate bars. I'm gonna be having to refrain from eating them. Oh, it's so lovely, look at that. It's a Grinch there, that Christmas Grinch. Oh, that'll be weird to put in the wax melt burner, won't it? Oh, thank you so much, Jane. Those look absolutely lovely. I shall enjoy smelling those while I'm doing my flute practice. They're all made from soy, she says. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you did happen to like it, could you please give it a like because it helps the channel to grow. If you'd like to watch more videos from me and you're not subscribed already, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to receive a notification every time I upload. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.